I don't like how you're sitting up now. Like this, eh? I'm not sitting like that. Yes, you are. It out. It's normal. You're a little bit paranoid from the way we've no. been starting the last few ones. Here, slip, shift in a little bit. All right, there we go. How come I'm so off? It looks like it's off a bit here. There. Okay. We've, we got to adjust things a little bit today. we got to adjust the set. Here, move over a bit. So, oh, silent guy rules. Huh? Guys don't like to sit too close to each other because, uh, you know, nobody, you know, anyways. Because we don't want any incidental touching. Here, now, let's just make sure that you're in frame. Can you lean back like you were before? There you go. No, no. Arms down at your sides, straight down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. Tuck my shirt. Okay. We are here. This is uh, week five. The week five recap of the Burner Blueprint. I'm Rick DeBanks. I'm Dan McGregor. I'm back again. And, oh... Yeah, David's David's not here today. David is on assignment. Actually, he, he really is on assignment. David's uh, back east in Toronto, clearing up a bunch of uh, logistical fuck-ups that, um, well, he made. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we, we've got some warehousing issues back east, and uh, David is, David's kind of like the wolf. You know, if there's a... Um, some unpleasant business or a bad situation that has to be dealt with, we send in David, and uh, things get straightened up. Good evening. Eh? David, good. David doesn't fuck around, man. Does he? No, no. You'll find out. We're gonna go see some friends of mine. They don't fuck around. <laughs> I remember seeing people like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> so let's let's get into it, shall we? That was in the nineties. Yeah. yeah, back in the nineties. Um. All right, so yeah, the Burner Blueprint Week 5 recap results. What we've been doing, um, if you're not aware, hang on, let me get my, my sheet. Yeah. Is Darren, I, Darren and I, and David actually, um, we've been following different versions of the Burner Blueprint uh, with different goals in mind. Uh, Darren started off at uh, 239 pounds and his goal was to lose 20 pounds over nine weeks. Going basically low carb, um, exercising, kind of not well, really for anything yeah. specific, but just in the way that he likes, right? Like cycling and stuff like that. Let's just say I'm going to put 14 days of working in 12. Um, people keep bringing biscotti to work. Cookies. Oh, God, no. I'm trying to avoid it. Last like, week it's like, cheesecake, and now it's biscotti. Yeah, I, I'm and telling you, it's insane. It's a fucking, before that, uh, it was a tuxedo cake. Like, where, where do you work? <laughs> do you work at a bakery or no, something? No, it just feels like a bakery. I try to get fruit in or vegetable plates and... Of course, I never get called in. Yeah, shit. Yeah. So, well, I don't know. There's, if you want to tune out now, I, I guess you may as well. It, it sounds like we know how this one's going to work. Uh, yes, but every day I'm in the gym and I pound it out. I'm hoping I lost whatever <laughs> pork I put on. Yeah, yeah. so. Uh, I didn't touch them. I didn't touch, I only touched one biscotti. Really? Okay, two. Yeah. That's because someone put it in front of my face. Man. Well, I told you, you just got to push I yourself did. away from the you know table. Which, you know what's crap? I, I didn't have any of those turnovers yesterday. Turnovers? Oh, there was apple strudel turnovers, and there was these other pastry things with chocolate in the middle. Like, Does anybody else work uh, at a place like this where, where people are bringing baked goods every night? Well, it's just, I, I've never seen this before. You you, know, you've had cheesecake, tuxedo skate, cake, biscotti, uh, turnovers. Yeah. Like, holy shit, man. Yeah, this is how it is. Wow. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, Darren's had some some issues, and um, we're gonna see how he does this week. I suppose, yeah. right? Your goal, your goal for this week, we modified it, and we said two thirty four. We get a nice three pounds out of you. We'll be happy. Well, I was right? two thirty three on the scale this morning when I woke up. So hey, oh, okay, well, yeah, I got jeans on, a t shirt. Yeah, hey, wallet. that's the stuff you wear every week, though, right? Yeah. We that's we were consistent with how we're doing yeah, it. Yeah, just because David <clears throat> wore jeans and steel toe boots. Well. <laughs> He's six foot three and still on the scale at two twenty and lose you know three inches on his waist in a week. Yeah, David is. Uh, David's got different concerns. He's more interested in body recomposition. He's just wanted to trim his waist, um, put on a little more muscle. So he's doing a targeted uh, ketogenic diet. So he's going ketogenic for most of the day um, and just back ending his workouts with kind of a carb load. So that's another good way to to work it as well and. And I'm doing full keto, although if I'm honest, I've been kind of carving up lately. I, <clears throat> I've just, the last three days, I've, I started carving up on uh, Sunday. 
sort of unexpectedly. I just said uh, I'd been kind of like 10 days sort of strict on the burner blueprint, and I just said, ah, oh, fuck it, man. And I had, uh, I don't know, eight or nine sandwiches, and um, then one I had... day? In one hour. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can do that, no problem, man. And then... Uh, <laughs> Last time I ate that, it was, uh, I think it was like 17, 18 at McDonald's, we ordered like 10 hamburgers. Oh, yeah, I'm not eating... Um, I won't eat that shit. Tuxedo anymore. cakes, though. Yeah, well, I only had a slice of it. It was like I was taking home my wife. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, yeah, but you know what? I mean, Inside David joke. and I are making some, some progress. Um, Baron's had some issues. <clears throat> but we'll, hey, we'll see. Catch me in August when I'm uh, really, really trying to focus. Oh, okay. You know, July and August. So you're doing a nine-week video September. series and you're not trying well, to you focus? Start, you start me this in, what, the end of August or yeah. September? Yeah, this is one of my bulk up season. My body just thinks, hey, yeah, it's time to get to the, you know, 240. So, be there. so Darren's goal for this week, he set himself a three pound goal of 234. Let's find out. Yeah, we well, you know this is going to work out. All right. No, we don't know yet. I do. I stood on my scale at home. Here, hold on. Let me get this thing here. All right. There's our scale. Go ahead. Maybe I'll set a lost weight at work. So I haven't eaten that many Tosquito cakes. 2.38. Yeah, with clothes on. I'm going to five pounds of clothes on. No, no. You weigh yourself every week with clothes on. Don't give us that, man. We well, don't, we don't need you naked in here. No, I'm not wearing nothing. Uh, 2.38. Darren's, Darren's gained a pound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I'm telling you, at work, it's just impossible right now. Um, I don't know. I, I think maybe we need more of an intervention on this. Like, what? Well, I mean, we're, we're so in, in so you really five weeks, to... you've lost a total of one pound. Yeah. Now, what, what are your favorite foods? Let's start with that. What kind of foods do you really like that you're having trouble staying away? I know you say, it sounds like baked goods are a bit of an issue. For you. <laughs> yeah, don't put them in the house. Don't put them next to me. I don't have them in Is my that what house. it is? Baked goods? Because um, cakes, I, I honestly don't find myself too tempted by cakes and cookies not, and shit like that. There was a lot more. I almost had a more. Pizza. I'll, I'll eat a pizza, man. Yeah, there was a bit of pizza there. Oh, God. There. That was only four pieces or three. How do you feel when you, when you, when you see, when you walk, <laughs> hold on, let's get to the root of the problem. When you walk in and you see a big piece of cake, how do you feel? Do you feel excited? Like, ah, oh, shit, man. Who brings this shit in here? I, no, but I... I gotta try it. Okay, you feel disappointed, but what, do you, you must feel a level of excitement when you look at cake. Um, no, I don't get any excitement. <laughs> you must. So, uh, you, if you can't resist good. it, it's gotta have some kind of pull on you, right? It does right now because of the carbs. Right? You're still getting... But how do you feel, though? Take, me, take us through your emotional response to it. Are you like, ooh, that looks good? Like, oh, I can't wait till about three o'clock. I'll have a slight a slice. I have a small, thin slice, not the big ones that you know some of the guys have. So you start <clears throat> counting down the time and to, I think, to when you can eat it. And when you do eat it, how do, how do you feel? Do you feel good? No, I go, holy shit, what the hell did I do this for? Well, afterwards, you start to feel a lot of <laughs> yeah, regret, that, right? Yeah, uh, now I gotta go out there and go do this, I gotta do this, I'm gonna get on my bike today. I mean, trust me, I get on my bike, ride around, then I see this big side of a mountain, I go, okay, pick it up, and run up the side of the mountain. It's not like I'm sitting around doing absolutely nothing, right? So, hey, focus on me for a second here. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so you're getting exercise, but we've already yeah. established that you can't out-train a bad diet. I mean, you really... I need about 10 days to really, really focus like we did before. Well, yeah, you've had... impossible. I, 30. I can't... I'm at work. I don't have other people's lifestyles where you guys just go to work for your little 7.5 hours, <laughs> sit in a chair and absolutely do, you know, nothing. Sit around in meetings and hang around. Okay. He's saying this to a guy that runs a business, right? No. A guy that it's does just, emails at 11 o'clock at uh, night. Uh, other people that, you know, it's not easy. It's full intense hard work, right? You know, right. You also have a gym graveyards. Okay. Yeah. Not like I'm sitting around doing absolutely nothing. Now, what about some of the negative effects of all the weight you're carrying? Well, do you ever read think up about, about that? people on graveyard shift? Okay. They do put on weight. It's very tough. I know. And but but how how, how are, just tell us some of the ways that this, the fat that you're carrying affects your lifestyle. How's that affect my lifestyle? 
Yeah, like I noticed when you were trying to put on your shoes, you were kind of wheezing and. No, I'm not wheezing. That struggling much. to put your shoes on, right? I probably move forward like that. So. Not as bad. I mean, I can go like this. I don't have. I only have a little bit of skin here. Here, like, I'm hanging lean, lean back. Put your arms down. Now stick your gut out as far as you can. No, I'm not gonna stick my gut out as far as I want. You do that. Well, let's see if I <laughs> yeah. if I gain weight. Shit, man. If I gain yeah. weight, then maybe we'll have that. Okay. okay. Uh, I want you get on this scale right, here and I'll see what this works out. Worry about what I'm doing. Don't worry, everybody. I said I'm gonna get down to the 220 area. Yeah, and it. It looks like it's not happening. No, it but I'll pull a miracle on that. Here, hold that. Okay, onto there. Okay, ready? Hold, hold both. Of them. Okay, let's just do this. Okay, here's zero. Here, so I can see, so you don't lie about it. Well, the cameras aren't gonna lie. It's 293, 292.5. Right now, stopped. 293. No, 292.5. Just lean back a bit. I go down to 295. There you go. All right, we got his numbers. 290. 292.5. That's right. one one under. That's not bad. And you started at what? 311. 311. Oh, I guess everybody must be pretty happy with that, eh? 292.5. It works. So that's three weeks, and I'll tell you what I... This thing is oh, oh, man, you fucked this thing up now. Oh, uh, this is a spider leg. Good tripod. That used to be my nickname back in high school, tripod. Yeah, I got. <laughs> and now you want to go? Out and you he didn't get it. Sushi, eh? <clears throat> All right, so two ninety two point five for the big boss man. Well, I actually did fall short of my goal of two ninety, but is it two ninety? Yeah, I still got a pause of three pounds, and <clears throat> I'll tell you what's happened here. I uh, like I said, I started carving up on um, Monday. Yeah, I started carving up on, I, I did a two-day carb up Sunday and Monday. So it's not all out of my system yet. So if the carbs come out, I'll probably drop another couple pounds probably by tomorrow morning. So I just kind of mistimed it uh, with respect to a weigh-in anyways. Um, but yeah, the, um, you know what, the good thing about this is you can, you can generally, you don't have to go too extreme. Like I can follow the burner blueprint, and as long as you timing, you, you gotta you can eat whatever you want. You want cake, eat it, man. But wait until you work out to eat it, right? That's that's the mistake he's making. He's oh, he's he's I, not timing stuff. I have to work. I have. Uh, you have a gym at work. I can't just go to the gym whenever I feel like I can't. Just when can you go, go to the gym? I go at my lunch break. Okay, so, so go at your lunch break. Hours, cut it. Lunch break, here's what you do: cut, cut a slice of cake. Walk, you'll be the first person to do this, but walk into the gym with your cake. Yeah. I mean, it's not cake every night, it's just right now a couple pieces here and there. All right, well, whatever it is, man. I mean, just all you got to do is if, if you're gonna, if you have to have those high carb treats, right, just earn it. You just got to work out and then have it on the back end of your workout. Okay, let's get fine. everybody to put some messages on here. What should I do? What do they uh, do? Well, we, we have had a few. I, I won't say what you know what somebody said. Yeah. He said, Somebody said, um. Uh, watching you three, uh, I feel like I'm staring at Popeye, Brutus, and Wimpy. <laughs> Who's Wimpy? Well, it ain't me. I got the beards. <laughs> so uh, I'm obviously Brutus. <laughs> but hey, that's three, you know what? Three movie stars and three cartoon characters. Let's, we'll take hey, it. I'll, I'll take it. That's yeah, okay. I'll take that all day long, man. Popeye. Yeah, <laughs> David. I guess, I guess, I guess it must be the, uh, the forum, right? <laughs> Yeah, just need right. some anchors on here, right? Eh? David's uh, David. I guess, I guess David's wimpy. <laughs> oh, well, or olive. Oil. Maybe it was olive oil. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't remember. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. So so hey, you know what? Thanks, man. We appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, kind that's of... a good comment. I'll, I'll take that every day. You know what? Though, I'm the, not Brutus. <laughs> yeah, Brutus. <laughs> Although you know what? Uh, if you watch Popeye, uh, Brutus in the earlier episodes was actually really impressive the way he was built. His lower body, he clearly neglected his lower body, <laughs> but his upper body was massive. The, the guy probably had a huge bench. Oh yeah. To be honest. <laughs> Is it was it Bluto or Brutus? There was it was both. A, yeah. Okay. I kind of like Bluto better. Mm -hmm. But anyways, yeah. I'm sure we can all google it and figure it out who it is. <clears throat> but yeah, I guess we'll have to. So All right. So I guess we may as well get into our predictions for next week. Are you going to come out and lay another egg next week? And, and What does everybody want me to do? Do your best to destroy the diet. 
That's a good one. I like that. That's Man. great. I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> so can we get three pounds out of you? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Well, that. yeah, yeah, sure. You'll see. You, you know what? Works. The I'll, I'll, I'll do this. this burner pro uh, program really works in the end. I'll, I'll do this Just off camera, but I, I'm gonna. I'll have a talk with him. Oh, come and on. we're gonna <laughs> find out what's at the root cause of some of the emotional issues. Um, emotional issues. You've got to have emotional issues, man. Did, can't you think back to a time when you were in shape? Ah, uh, you know what? That that video you showed me the other day of me doing those uh, pull-ups. <laughs> I've been doing those pull-ups every day. I'm back on to ten. Uh, three times a day. Yeah, but you, you just, you gotta put down the fucking cake, man. Gonna put down you the cake. gotta take it easy on the food. Okay, okay. It's not just the cake that's putting it on. It must be something there. I don't know. Yeah. It's something, all right. So, all right, his target again. So next instead week of picking me up today, um, is uh, 235. You know, I probably could have rode my bike over. You know, that's what I usually try to do. But I'm so beat sometimes, I just don't even feel like getting up. I don't even feel like moving. And here's my prediction I, I'm gonna crack under. I'm gonna I'm gonna crack the 20 pound total weight loss and I, I'm gonna be under 290 next week. Let's go for 288 and a half. I think I can achieve that. Four pounds. Mm -hmm. The problem is the problem is with these diets. <clears throat> the burner blueprint is designed to be easy to follow. It is. All you have to do you can eat whatever you want. You well, just, it's just a, no you can eat it. You have to eat it at a certain time, right? Whatever food craving you have, you don't have to go more than a week without it if you don't want to. Just when you get problems is what I did. I, I started introducing intermittent fasting, and I may do that again this week. But um, I just got a little results obsessed. And when you start doing that, you start depriving yourself. And once you start depriving yourself, you're like, oh. And then when you go off the rails, you go off big time. Man. No, it take the carb control. It will suppress those those uh, those feelings you get. Yeah, to a degree, that. but I, I mean, there's you can only well, but don't override just, your brain so much, right? You you really did that hard fast. That will take it out out of you. Yeah, intermittent fasting three days. I was doing that. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, imagine not eating for three days. You know what? I'm <sighs> this one too. Still getting the results, man. Still getting the results. So, there you go. And, oh, by the way, the new shirts are in. Yeah. I mean, might I get a, one. Hey, you lose your 20 pounds, you will get one. Oh, right? come on. So, is that, is that the deal? That's a carrot to dangle for you. You get that. We don't, wanna, we don't want fat people running around in no, our shirts. No, fat people. Come on. It's like rock steel. All right. It's got to work on it somewhere. That's all. So, those are our predictions for next week. We'll have David back, uh, and we'll see where he's at. David. David had to travel for a week, so let's see if that throws him off. Throws a lot of people off. I doubt it. He's probably out training right now. That guy works out every day. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Until then, Dasvidaniya.